Hello. Oh, hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. As always, I return to source. I return to sender all negative energies and in intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you is dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Question is final. Real quickly, um, so my platform is being tampered with by some third party. It has nothing to do with YouTube. It's some um, nutcase out here um, that is trying to take over my platform. So when you click on my videos and you want to watch and it's taking you to a page that says uh, this website is no longer available, it may have moved or something, or please try again in a moment, something like that. That is because there's someone performing like a DDoS attack on my on my platform so that when people try to watch my content, um, they are not being allowed to watch the con content. Uh, if you refresh your page a couple of times, you should be able to watch or you can always just search my, search my name, Ascend the Divination Priestess channel or just Ascend the Divination um, Priestess. It should come up. Um, but there is something also where it's that when you click on my link, sometimes it may take you to a different page. I'm not associated with that page. I'm not affiliated with that page. Affiliated with that page. There's like a YouTube channel called uh, Two or something. And it has like three different channels or four different channels on there. Um, I'm not affiliated with any of those channels. I'm not affiliated with any other creator. Uh, I watch content creators, but I'm not affiliated, like associated with anyone. I don't, I didn't hire anyone to manage my platform. I didn't give any authority to anyone to manage my platform. I think one of the video, one of the platforms that person has is like one video uh with uh, 186,000 subscribers so obviously you know that that's like a scam that's a scammer uh so that's not me i didn't hire anyone to take care of my platform okay um so just letting you all know if you want to keep supporting just look up my page on youtube ascended divination priestess it should come up um and you can watch my content that way you are appreciated for making those efforts and because people are trying to complicate it a little bit more than it needs to be. Um, any, anyways, um, let's go ahead and get into the tarot reading. So you have someone that may want to confess something to you, tell you the truth about a matter. Uh, and when they tell you the truth about this situation or whatever, whatever this is, it's going to help you come out of the cold. Um, specifically when it comes to your finances, your resources, your income, and things of that nature. You have someone that's trying to force something to go in her way. However, this is a queen of one reverse in the background of you. You may not even know this woman, but she's still paying people to have things go in her favor. She's paying people to come towards you to give you some type of disingenuous friendship. Like this woman is insecure as can be. If there ever was like a pictorial uh, version when it comes to the divination, definition of insecure this is this person so she's paying someone to come towards you i don't know what they're coming to do uh come and give you some type of false friendship uh play with your mental tell you lies have you living in fear that something is going to happen if you do this or if you don't do that um no whoever's coming towards you more than likely is just coming to tell you the truth people may be tired of this person's nonsense behind the scenes this woman has built some type of ten of pentacles or is trying to build some type of ten, ten of pentacles off of lies this is someone that steals what belongs to other people she does not want to have to work for anything this is someone that is unskilled and untalented uh it's in an institution which i think i saw someone being uh uh, escorted off of a premises at a company and this is more than likely this woman okay the truth is coming out about you and what it is that you've been doing who you are your true character and it has someone pissed off she's under judgment out here may not want people talking to you she does not want people uh you know uh addressing the elephant in the room basically when it comes to you like she does not want people mending any type of amendments going on? No. She does not want people uh, uh, 
getting clarity on a situation that has just been going on a little bit too long, right? Because there's something where it's like she tends to gain a lot either to keep a position or some type of business that will be given to her if she keeps a lie going. Um, so this is why she's been busy causing a lot of conflict and manipulation, paying people to come towards you to do you something because she's determined to force something. This is like someone knowing, let's say it's a job position, someone knowing that a job position is not for them. They don't they don't qualify for that position. They may have like the 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 they may have like the degree for the position, but they don't have the skills. They don't have the mindset. They don't have the personality. Personality. But this is someone that feels entitled to things in life. Not gifted. Not talented. Not a light worker. Insecure as can be. This is the queen of the insecure squad. Uh, is easily triggered. Thinks everything is about is about her. This could be a man because you know energy is fluid in tarot. But whoever this is, is absolutely insecure. This is one of those women you will be embarrassed to be around because everything you say, the thing is about them. Or this is this is someone who likes a lot of attention. They want everything doting on them and things of that nature. There's like a whole community. I don't know what the heck this is. They are just not learning like the lesson that they're supposed to learn or there's someone in this community or a handful of people that are just not learning with this page of pentacles in the reverse okay and i'm telling you with this uh nine of cups out here and then the page of pentacles in the reverse five of pentacles someone is just greedy someone overindulges in everything someone just cares about money she don't care about nothing but money the reason she's doing a job or wanting a position or some type of offer is solely because of the money, the finances. There's nothing more, nothing less to it. So because she wants things to go in your favor, she would have been paying either a king of swords or someone of that nature behind the scenes to block your wish fulfillment. So you stay living in poverty. You're not, uh, she's trying to block your manifestation gifts and things like that. You're not able to go anywhere. You're not able to get a job. You're not able to do anything. Meanwhile, she's living the La Vita Loca off of your back because she's stealing from you. She's stealing your intellectual property, stealing your creativity, stealing your work, everything, and putting it out as hers. Something of that nature. There could also be something going on in courts for some of you where it's that a property was left to you and this woman may have gotten in cahoots with other people to steal this property from you. And there could be like a crooked official that may have signed and allowed them to have this property and now she cannot have the property. Something is being changed, right? She's being told that she has to move out of a property. It's something of that nature. For someone else, I'm picking up on some type of life insurance policy. It's like a life insurance policy was sticking out on you. And this is something an institution does regularly where it's like they, they have like a cult-like setup going on where they will take life insurance out on people and then set up your demise. So initially, they'll start with sending you death spells and all kinds of heart spells and things like that. And then it'll turn into something where they're trying to poison you. And if you're not around them, then they're going to start hiring people to find your location so they can set up the right time, place for them to uh, take you out. Um, and then once they successfully take you out, there's some type of fraudulent death certificate that has been created in, a, in advance. The mortuary, the funeral home is in on it. Everybody is in on it. They present this to the insurance company. The insurance company pays out whatever ridiculous amount, a million dollars, two million dollars, five hundred thousand to these people. They split it up and they, they go on about their way until they find their next victim. So there's something like that going on with quite a few people. All of your situations are different. Uh, just be very cautious because there's someone that's very much burdened. And it's, I feel like it is this woman. She's very burdened behind the scenes because something is still not going her way. It's like no matter how many times you manipulate, no matter how many times you put yourself out there to be something you are not, the truth is the truth. The truth needs no explanation. I'm telling you, right? It has to do with a Ten of Pentacles. She does not want people investing in your Ten of Pentacles. She does not want you investing in your Ten of Pentacles. She's trying to dismantle your Ten of Pentacles. Uh, and it, it is in help with, it is with the help of a whole community of people that she's collaborating with to take you out, destroy you, cause you an ending. But what these people don't see is some type of horrendous ending that's coming for them. Okay. Something like for a whole institution, which is ridiculous. 
there's some type of bribery going on within an institution. It's like a lot of people within this institution are aware of what's going on. This woman is paying like a higher fin. So this is the head of a uh, institution. God forbid this is a lawyer or a judge. They are enabling this woman to keep something going on. It said nobody has to know. Here's like $2 million from in. Let me keep the house. Something like that. Or, you know, nobody has to know. Just act like this person has mental illness. And we're going to say they have mental illness. They're not worthy of this position. They cannot have this position because it's not something that will be beneficial to the people that they will be working for or under or with. Because uh, they're not mentally fit or stable to have this position. There could be a judge or a lawyer that is going along with this plot and it's going to backfire. There's some type of like secret deal going on in this situation some type of ritual uh basically you can call it that's going on with these people it is just ridiculous the extensive length that these people are going through to put an empress to an end this could also have to do with like a connection between you and someone they don't want you and someone coming together so they're trying to put an end to you trying to trap you or trap him keep him trapped in some type of relationship he does not want to be in just so you two do not end up together okay this game out sideways so that means there's some type of arguing conflict competition or something some type of disruption going on within a family dynamic something is being looked into which is enabling someone to take a different direction in life they're seeing things from a higher perspective and they're heartbroken about the actions they may have taken against you because you're coming up as a light worker a star the star c Queen of Cups energy, someone that's very hardworking and tend to invest in the things that matters to you. There could be someone finding out that you are the innovator of something, that you are the rightful owner of something. Something like that is going to be playing out. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next week. Goodbye for now.